And so in Robin Food, what we try to do is uh, create uh, awareness raising and behavior changing, but we do it through an experience. We rescue food that would otherwise be wasted, fruits and vegetables mostly, from farms, supermarkets, markets, and then together with a chef and many volunteers, we create a master plan with whatever it is that we've rescued, a total creative project. Luckily, our chef is a very creative guy. And uh, we start chopping and peeling and cutting and cooking. And at the end is a great feast for hundreds of people to enjoy. We do it in de several different formats. It can either be a big event where it's for the public and anyone can come and enjoy. And usually it features a lot of other things like lectures and workshops, a give take market for clothes and books, you know, to get the whole experience of using what we have. And anyone can pay as they feel for the food, for the experience, and to help this project grow. We do it with lectures, we do it with workshops, we even do cooking contests where people can have the, the creativity challenge themselves using what would otherwise go to waste. The idea is that they're the very direct experience of waste, of uh, enjoying something that would otherwise nobody would have enjoyed. And also a very positive experience. We're not saying uh, shame on you, we're not doing some kind of boycott, we're not doing anything like that, but hey, let's have fun with this, let's enjoy it instead of wasting it. And so when that happens, people come up to us like, wow, this is great, this is delicious, good atmosphere, but then how the hell was all this food gonna go to waste? And then they say, you know, how can we change it? And so we can give them tools in their own lives and also to create a public movement to be able to change this on a systemic level, whether it be with the industry or government, because there are solutions to this, but first people have to care. And obviously we'll deal with lobby and approvals at some point in a way that would actually uh, help these different organizations to not waste food, because there's better stuff to do with food than to waste it. Uh, the founders are myself. Uh, Kobe is our chef. He's the creative guy behind it. He also does uh, multidisciplinary stuff. He's a judo teacher and also he used to be a graphic designer. And Noah joined us uh, by the fact that we started doing this food rescue stuff and she was studying photography at Vizo in Haifa. I forgot to say that we're in Haifa. And she, she came and she did it with us and documented it and uh, the rest is history. She said, well, let's do something with this. Let's get people involved. And so we started doing these events. This is one of the first ones, just improvising with what we have, letting people feast, talking about it, letting people sign up to be volunteers. And people liked what we did, so we just kept doing it bigger and bigger. We started getting offers, we started getting coverage, uh, we started getting, doing it bigger venues, rescuing lots and lots of food, mountains of it. Uh, after we have some kind of recipe planned for what we're gonna do, we tell all the volunteers, and we split up. Anyone can help out with their abilities, with their uh, time. And at the end, opa, you have a giant feast that anyone can enjoy and take part of. And there's uh, shows, anyone can sign up. Uh, we've had all kinds of interesting guest lecturers and workshops, with, all based on the idea of using what we have, whether it be with clothes, books, uh, our own money, obviously, because if you waste a third, of the food that you buy. You're basically, every third grocery bag, you're throwing directly to the garbage. But we wouldn't do that, right? And so, we even went to the Haifa Film Festival after a documentary about food waste was screened, and we fed the audience with food that would otherwise go to waste to give them that direct experience, and also participated in a panel relating to culinary activities and philanthropy and social action in general. We, we see it not as a philanthropical thing because we want people to experience it and be able to contribute it. It's by the people, for the people, and anyone can take part. And the idea is that it's a real sustainable enterprise in both the economic way and the ecological way because as a food operation, we have probably the lowest footprint possible and if our goal of changing behavior uh, and systemic food waste is realized, then it could possibly be a positive impact as well. Uh, and our expenses are pretty low in the sense that we use what we have in a creative way, whether it be with food, people, or other resources. Uh, and the, I forgot to say the biggest part, we're hoping to open up a cafe very, very soon in Haifa, where our home sound, which is part of a global network of such cafes, but the first in Israel, so we're pioneers in that sense. Hopefully there'll be one at some point in Tel Aviv, but you guys can be patient. 
the idea is that it's based on rescued food and pay as you feel so anyone can take part and uh, home to activities relating to the community, relating to sustainability in many different ways and whatever people want it to be. And it all starts with that experience. Um, thank you guys. Come take part.